Hi, I'm Matt McKernan with Honeywell Safety Products. We're the manufacturers of Miller Fall Protection. And today we're in Diamond Tools training room, and we're going to spend the next couple of minutes talking about how to inspect a full body harness. One of the key things is to make sure you read and understand the owner's manual that comes with the harness. It comes in every single bag. You need to make sure you have this. It's going to walk you through the steps that you need to follow for inspecting your harness. Regardless of the manufacturer, there's some basic steps that you're going to want to do. For example, today we have the Miller Aircore harness here. Pick a central spot on that harness to start with. I typically find starting with the back D-ring is the easiest spot. I can work my way down the back of the harness, come back up to the D-ring, and then work my way down the front of the harness. One of the key things you want to inspect on any piece of fall arrest equipment, including a harness, are the labels. And in this case, we have them tucked underneath the front strap. And the labels that you need to make sure are there, or present, and that the information that's on there, the ink, is in good shape and readable. This is going to tell you some information like the date it was manufactured, it's going to give you a model number, and also a serial number that your confident person is going to use when they inspect the equipment and to keep track of it. So you want to make sure, and it's also going to go through some basic do's and don'ts. You want to make sure that the, that the tags are there and that they're readable. Going back to my D-ring, I want to take a look at the webbing of the harness. I'm going to inspect all the webbing that you see on this harness. So in this case, just kind of roll it over your fingers like this, both the outside and the underside of it. And as I roll it over my fingers, I'm going to be looking for any cuts, tears, frays, burn marks, any signs of chemical damage. Um, so if I have big white splotches on here, or I start seeing this bright green webbing really start to discolor, those are signs and indications that the webbing is starting to fail and we need to remove the product from service. When it comes to burn marks, it doesn't matter if you have a dime-sized hole burn into this or just some weld spatter on it. Burn marks are burn marks, and we begin to weaken the strength of that webbing. Okay? So we're going to do that across the entire length of the harness. When we get to things like the chest straps, move them around so we want to see what's going on behind the chest strap. Here's the buckles to adjust in the front. I want to make sure I can see all the webbing that's behind that. Back D-ring, pull the webbing away from the D-ring and look underneath of it. I want to make sure that I don't have any dirt and debris getting underneath of that D-ring and causing problems that I normally can't see. So you want to move all of that. And everything I'm doing needs to be done prior to each use. So if you're wearing a harness every day, get in the habit of inspecting it every day. It'll take you a couple minutes at the beginning and you'll be off and running and know that the piece of equipment you're using is in good shape. Okay? So we're going to inspect all the webbing, even the leg straps. Um, Come back to my D-ring, inspect all the metal components that you have on it. So the D-ring, connection buckles in the front. In this case, we have side D-rings on the harness, tongue buckles on the leg straps. And I want to make sure that all the metal is in good shape. There should be not be any rust, any corrosion. Uh, none of the metal should be bent, cracked, damaged in any way. If I see any indications of that, I want to pull the harness out of service and get it replaced. Okay? Um, on every Miller harness, we actually put little load indicators right underneath this black pad, underneath the back D-ring. And in the top corner, one on each side, is a little load indicator. And if any of these are stressed or broken, that's an indication to you that this harness has seen enough fall force, we need to get it out of service. Okay, so inspect both of those, make sure they're in good shape. Um, we've inspected all the metal. Take a look at everywhere you see the harness stitched together. So we've got stitching down here, stitching on the back strap various places on the harness. Want to make sure that the threads are in good shape. They're not cut, torn, damaged in any way. And then I also just want to give them a quick tug. Make sure you don't hear any kind of popping or tearing noises. That would be a bad sign. So make sure those are all in good shape. Another type of buckle that you can have on a harness is called a mating buckle. And it's basically two pieces of metal like this that kind of fit through themselves. You can have it on the chest strap and you can also have it on your leg straps. Again, when we're inspecting these, metal component, no rust or corrosion on them. They should not be bent, cracked, damaged in any way. Um, this particular one has slots in it, so when I connect the two, slide it through, and make sure they stay connected. They should not pop open. If they disengage, if any of the metal is damaged, remove the harness from service. Please make sure to inspect your harness prior to each use, and make sure that your company's competent person is inspecting your harness at least on an annual basis. Miller Fall Protection Equipment by Honeywell Safety Products is available at Diamond Tool. You can reach them at 888-TRY-DIAMOND. That's 888-879-3426. Or visit them on the web at diamondtool.net.